Mr. LaHood for five minutes. <clears throat> well, thank you, Chairwoman DeGette and Ranking Member Fulcher. It's a pleasure to be on with you today to uh, present our bill, H.R. Uh, 3600, uh, and appreciate you holding this hearing today. Um, and our bill, uh, as both of you referenced, the Route 66 National Historic Trail Designation Act is what we're presenting today. And I want to acknowledge my Democrat counterpart on this bill, Congresswoman Grace Napolitano from California, for her work in introducing this legislation with me. She's been an integral partner in this effort since 2017. Lastly, um, I want to especially welcome and thank our witness today, Casey Claypool, Executive Director of the Illinois Route 66 Scenic Byway, and she'll be on a little later, uh, I think, on our next panel. Casey's organization helps Illinois tourist attractions, small businesses, and local communities take full advantage of the opportunities of Route 66 and what it provides. I look forward to hearing her testimony during the panel a little bit later. I am proud to represent Illinois' 18th congressional district in Congress. My district comprises 19 counties across central and west central Illinois and is full of rich American history in which travelers on Route 66 pass through every single day. By designating Route 66 as a federal trail, it would expand that economic and historic developmental opportunities across all communities and states on what's known as the Mother Road, which is Route 66, which is really iconic in our history. And this, of course, runs through several states. It starts in Illinois, goes through Missouri, Kansas, Oklahoma, Texas, North New Mexico, Arizona, and of course, California. In my district, Route 66 winds through wonderful communities like Lexington, Tawanda, Bloomington Normal, Atlanta, Lincoln, Elkhart, Springfield, and also stretches into the northern parts of uh, the state of Illinois near Chicago. Uh, after engaging with local community leaders, when I first got elected about six years ago, I quickly learned that Route 66 vital impact on small and rural communities like those in my district is significant. For example, in Atlanta, Illinois, the renewed emphasis on Route 66 tourism is directly responsible for revitalizing the town's economic base, increasing the sales tax revenues in the community by 43%. Another example is our capital city in Illinois, Springfield, Illinois, where the Springfield Visitor Center welcomed 20,000 travelers from 74 different countries in 2019, citing as their top two reasons for visiting Abraham Lincoln and Route 66. These are just two examples, but I can say with confidence that the highway significance is a key driver of both domestic and international tourism, as well as local economic development for the areas and states that many of us in Congress, including several on this committee, represent. The federal government already recognizes the importance of Route 66. The highway currently benefits from the National Park Service Route 66 corridor preservation program. But this program expired in 2019 and is operating with very limited resources currently. My legislation would build off those efforts and ensure the program's goals of preserving Route 66 and that that can continue into the future. Additionally, last December, Congress passed the Route 66 Centennial Commission to establish a 100th anniversary commission commemorating the historic significance of Route 66. Among other celebratory activities to coincide with its anniversary, a federal designation would provide the necessary resources to preserve and protect Route 66 for generations to come. Madam Chairwoman, my legislation, H.R. 3600, is simple and straightforward. It would carry out the conclusion of the 1995 congressionally authorized study called the, quote, Route 66 Special Resource Study, unquote, that determined Route 66 meets the criteria in the National Trails System Act for designation as a national historic trail. If signed into law, the bill would designate Route 66 as a National Historic Trail, ensuring that the National Park Service will have the authority to assist and support states and local communities in preserving, promoting, and capitalizing on economic development from Route 66, again, for generations to come. Before I wrap up, Madam Chair and Ranking Member Fulcher, I would like to submit for the record eight separate letters of support from each state that Route 66 runs through supporting this federal trail designation. I look forward, thank you, Madam Chair. 
Um, I look forward to hearing the testimony from our witnesses and engaging in productive dialogue with my colleagues here today. And with that, Madam Chair and Ranking Member, thank you, and I yield back the remainder of my time. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. LaHood. The Chair now recognizes the gentleman from Florida, Mr. Buchanan, for five minutes.